Hello, my name is Russell Rhodes. I uh, frequently blog and talk about VIX, and uh, today is January 15th, 2016, and we are actually in the middle of a streak of VIX backwardation. And I, I got a question uh, emailed to me this this Friday about uh, backwardation streaks and, uh, you know, how do we go about defining such things and where are we right now? So I was going to blog about this, but it's so technical I decided that I was going to record a video and put it up on YouTube and link to it from my, my VIX review blog for this weekend. So where we're at, we are actually, you know, we're, we're in backwardation right now. And this is what backwardation in Contango actually look like when you take VIX, spot VIX on the far left here, and you take a look at uh, the up to nine month VIX futures contracts that are trading. Now we've, re we've recently introduced VIX weekly futures. We're not gonna talk about those. We're only gonna talk about the standard monthly uh, VIX contracts. And, and one of the reasons is because we have a lot more history to work with when we define backwardation in Contango. Now what it really comes down to is right here. Uh, the market is mostly focused on the front two months. Uh, today again is January 15th. Uh, the January contract expires on the open on January 20th with the Martin Luther King Day holiday. It actually only has one trading day remaining and then an AM settlement. And the second month is February. And the top curve, which represents backwardation, is kind of what we look like right now. Uh, VIX closed a tad above 27. The settlement for the January VIX futures contract was 26.475. And the February VIX futures contract went out at 24.35. Now, the way that you can go about defining backwardation, uh, there really are three different ways to go about doing that, or at least three different ways that I'm going to look at when we concentrate on the shorter end of the curve. We can look at spot VIX versus the front month, and again, today being January 15th, that would be the closing price for VIX versus the January future the first month versus the second month, and, and that doesn't include spot VIX, but does include the two tradable products. And one of the reasons a lot of people like to focus on this one is because the exchange traded products, VXX, SVXY, those, those various exchange traded products that give you exposure to volatility actually give you exposure to the front month and second month futures. Now, it might be short exposure, leveraged exposure, or whatever, but every day uh, those products will go, will, will take a little bit out of the first month and put it into the second month. And when we're in backwardation, it actually helps the performance of the long-oriented funds, and it actually is a hindrance to the performance of the short-oriented funds. So first month versus second month is very important to a lot of traders. And then finally, if you're, you really want to get academic and really parse everything, you can say that we're in backwardation when the spot VIX is higher than the first month, which is higher than the second month. And all three of these can be used to define backwardation. It, it really is a personal preference. You can include the third month if you want to. You can go all the way out to the eighth or ninth month if you choose to do so. Uh, finding all of them linear, linearly Goodness gracious, that's a tough word. Uh, all of them sloping in one direction or another when you get farther out on the curve is kind of difficult. We get very flat when you go farther out on the curve. So, and one other thing, the first and second month, when you're looking at the VIX futures volume and you're talking about the monthly contracts, 90, 95% of that volume will be in the first two months. So that, that's really what we're going to focus on for a lot of reasons. Now, I, I took the data from January 2nd, 2007. We did have VIX futures trading before then, but um, we really did start to see an actively traded market in late 2006. So anything I do with the futures, I like to start with 2007. And again, this is through Friday, January 15th, 2016. That's uh, 2,276 trading days, and 
of all of those days, the spot VIX has actually been higher than the front month future, 553 days. And, and if you can tell by the enunciation of my voice, I found that kind of surprising. I, I actually expected a lower number. Um, the front month has been higher than the second month, 458 of those trading days, which is about one in five trading days. And, and maybe it's just because we did not have a lot of backwardation in 2012, 2013, 2014. And, and maybe that's just why when I went, when I started running these numbers, you know, I have a short memory, I guess, like everybody else. Um, you know, I, I found that 20% number a little surprising. And I even felt this 13% number where we've got spot higher than the first month, higher than the second month. Um, we've only had that happen 13% uh, of trading days. But again, that's uh, that, that it generally occurs when we're in a very high volatility environment. And as of early 2016, we're coming off uh, about three years of low volatility where we had very little backwardation. Now, the specific question I got was, uh, you know, we've been in backwardation. In fact, one of these three definitions of backwardation, we've actually been in backwardation uh, every single trading day in 2016. Now, there's only been 10 trading days, so... Uh, it's 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 not like I'm talking to you in March or April and we've had this long streak going, but we actually have uh, we've been in backwardation when you take a look at the front month versus the second month every single trading day in 2016, which again is only 10 trading days. Now here are the the streaks, and I'm going to start off with spot versus the front month. And, and spot VIX has been higher than the front month. The longest streak, and I don't think this would be any surprise to anybody, uh, ran front, ran during the great financial crisis, or, or really the uh, the meat of the great financial crisis back in 2008. Uh, and that was 68 straight days of spot VIX closing higher than the front month future. Uh, we also had uh, toward the end of the great financial crisis, February and March. Now, I, I actually think uh, that, that March date is very close to when the S&P 500 actually did bottom out at the end of the crisis. Uh, we've had a couple of 21-day streaks, and then they really do fall off. Uh, the current streak uh, actually ranks number 12. It, it actually is in line with um, you know several other uh, multi-day streaks and this eight day streak if we if we close uh, in backwardation on uh, actually on Tuesday January 19th we will uh, we will actually uh, you know that one's going to pop up and and eventually you know crack into the uh, the top 10 there now the one that that we've had every day this year is first month versus second month and you can see this one ranks number 10 uh, every single trading day in 2016 and this streak is current through January 15th 2016 uh, we've, we've been in backwardation for 10 straight days uh, the longest streak uh, actually ran and I think a lot of people are surprised when they see this actually ran from August 2011 through November of 2011, what did not occur during the great financial crisis. Uh, this one's a little bit of, of an outlier, and, and I love it when I go and I run numbers and I find things that I didn't expect, and that's another one that I did not expect. And then finally, uh, yeah, it, you, you've got to have a lot of ducks in a row to have uh, the spot VIX higher than the first month, which is higher than the second month, and we've, we've had a streak back in 2008 of 63 days. And then you can see that the, the August, uh, the three that rank third, the three that tie for third are all during the same period of time. But if we ever have a day where the first month is, is lower than the second month or spot dips below the first month, uh, you know, that actually ends the streak. And we're, we're eight days into that streak. Uh, that's, it's, it's pretty rare. In fact, you can see, uh, we've only had one occurrence, and of course, again, that was during the Great Financial Crisis, where we were in backwardation for an extended period of time. So, but we're we're getting up there right now with respect to uh, the current streak that's going on. So, you know, just quick summary here: we've been in backwardation, depending on how you define it. Let's just say about 20% of trading days, which I think would be more than a lot of people would expect, especially because there was a full year where we did not have spot 
greater than front month, greater than the second month. Uh, I think that was 2013 or 2014, but fairly recently we actually had a full year. Uh, with few exceptions, uh, we, we tend to have continuous backwardation, uh, not as often as you would think. Uh, the, the number of days in a row is usually fairly limited, and the more you parse things down, especially when you're comparing the three different uh, the index in two futures, uh, the streaks don't last very long. But uh, right now, uh, January 15th, 2016, I know we're, we're starting off, we're, we've actually got the worst start, I believe, in the history of the S&P 500 and the history of the Russell 2000 with respect to, um, you know, to the to equity market performance. So, but same thing with VIX, we're actually putting up a, uh, uh, you know, a streak that, that we have not seen in some time, and we will uh, continue to keep an eye on spot VIX versus the front month versus the second month, and when the streak comes to an end, I'll probably discuss it further. So with that, I appreciate you clicking on, and we will continue to, uh, to keep an eye on what's going on with the volatility markets.